What's going on, Ram Fam, Schmoogly Doogly, Figgly Doodly, Poodly Woodly, Smooglers? It's me, ya boy, Alex the Rambler. Back once again on Imperator Rome. I'm back from my little vacay, and what, what beverage do I have with me today? That's right, I've got a nice cup of Earl Grey tea. Oh, that's boiling! Oh! Okay, not doing that again. I have legitimately just burnt my tongue. I don't know why I decided to do that little skit. I thought it would be a nice little ditty. You know, doing a, a parody of the spiffing Brit, but no, no, I just burnt my freaking tongue. I'm gonna go back to Boo. Today, I'm going to do one of your suggestions. So this is from Dust to a Life Form, Play as Carthage and Win the Punic Wars. All of them. So that's what we're gonna try and do. Huzzah! Uh, although the game is set before the first Punic War actually happens, so maybe we can get away with only winning one war against Rome, and then I can sit back, relax, and enjoy me being amazing at the game. Because I'm good at the game, okay? Sort of. Maybe. Who knows? I'm the world's best gamer. That's that's the line we're going for. So of course, if you want to see more Imperator, leave a like. Let's aim for 5,000. Wow, such a large goal. You know what? 10 fa- no, actually 5. 5. 5 is, 5 is a good amount. And if you feel like it, subscribe. Leave a comment. You know, not gonna force you. But as we all know, at least I hope you do, if not, get out a history book. There were three Punic Wars. Each time, Rome won. At the end of the Third Punic War, which wasn't really a war, it was just Rome sieging Carthage, as that's all they let them have after the Second Punic War. They destroyed Carthage, dismantled it brick by brick, and salted the earth. At least that's what the legend, or the, the, the documents, or and all the history says. But, you know, history is written by the victors, so we don't actually know if that's, that's true or not. But then they decided to rebuild Carthage because it was actually in a very decent strategic location. Uh, so the Roman ruins actually still survive today. That's on my bucket list to go and visit. But anyway, I I I I I I I I I I I I I digress. Carthage at the start of the game is pretty much uh, prospered for many centuries, as you can see, and holds a number of coastal cities around the Mediterranean. Several subjects continue to pay them tribute, and navy dominance rests firmly in Carthaginian hands. Naval dominance, sorry, naval naval. I need to get my glasses. Hold on, I should get my glasses, really, shouldn't I? If I'm gonna be playing as Carthage, I can't let the side down. Um. Oh, where are my glasses? Where are okay, so here we go. We're an oligarch republic, so rulers reign for five years. They can be re-elected after ten years, and it restricts positions of power to a wealthy or powerful minority. Just like today, really. Okay, so there's a tyrant in Syracuse that still reigns, but they have a tentative peace with us. Uh, further north, the young and uncivilized Italic states wage bitter war on one another, though there are rumours that one insignificant state is emerging to challenge the balance of powers. They call themselves Rome. Carthage shall endure, hopefully. Uh, as you can see, we can afford a new invention, so if you're, if you're new to the game, then you can spend your civic power to select one of these bad boys. I'm going for the property tax, myself. <laughs> I do like money. We can also bring down an omen, which I'm going to increase my uh, ooh, national tax by 18.6%. We have four trade routes we could be using to increase our uh, money, resources, etc. Keep people happy. I can. I think I probably already have elephants. Let's see, though. If I wanted to recruit a cheeky division here. Recruit cohorts. Da 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 da. I can indeed recruit war elephant. <laughs> oh baby, yes. So something cheeky that I'm going to do is actually try and increase my relationship with the Etruscans. And what we can do here is I can send them a gift straight away, boom, take my money, then I'll be able to guarantee them. So when Rome declares war on them, I'll be dragged into the war and I can hopefully win that war. So we're going to go for an early victory before Rome can actually gain any extra power. I'm not really going to focus too much on trying to conquer the uh, the, the tribes here. I'm I'm okay with just just having having peace with all of them if they'll if they'll allow that. You never know what the pesky people are going to get up to now, do you? So something very important for Carthage is using your large navy to transport your troops around. If you don't know how to do that, you just select on objectives, and you can give an objective to the fleet. So I'm going to do the naval landing. Bam! Uh, for most of these. Okay, guarantee Etruria. 
bish bash bosh, they like my guarantee. I should probably also think about getting some of our ideas in place, if I have the money money. Which I think I will do. National commerce income, seems to appeal to me. Now, originally I couldn't build horses, so I've just had to do a trade route to get horses. Uh, but now I can actually recruit heavy cavalry, which will be needed against the Romans, methinks. It's going to be a tough war because most of my army is light infantry at the moment, but I am recruiting some heavy infantry to, to help with that as we go along. Well, it appears Rome is already expanding, uh, and they're expanding to the south. I thought they'd expand to the north, but... Oh, feck. So I think I'm going to go after this little, uh, little city here. And that will bring in the Siculia as well. So we're going to have a... Okay, I'm going to try and seize control of most of Sicily, essentially. And, and so I have a, a stepping point into Italy and, and closer bases. Uh, I, yeah, that's what we're going to go for. So bish bash bosh, we fabricate a claim. Ba-bam, ba-bam. And then we can declare war in a month or so. Hopefully the Senate... Ah, there's, yes, there are, there are 60 seats. Everyone wants it. Everyone's going to join me. Wow. Bam! Bam! Da, 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 da. The might of Carthage compels you. Oh, and, and Sicily decided to attack them too, so this is very good for me at least. Oh, they're going to kill each other and I can just go in for the spoils. Oh, you love it when this happens. Okay, well Rome has expanded, just just, just, just gobbled everything up in the south, so that's, that's bad news for me. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I'm going to have to really do something about it. Okay, so they only have one territory available, and I think that I they can't seem to cross at the moment, so if I decided to go... Bit... Oh, I can cross. Oh, that's going to be... I, may... I I think I've made a mistake. Uh-oh. Uh, let's send all three stacks in. Hopefully they'll they'll come and support each other, because that... Oh, they're crossing over to me, though. Oh. Oh, yes. Come on. Let's, let's finish this. Oh, I'm victorious. Wow. That was a beefy victory. Holy moly. So with 100 war gold, I sue for peace. I'm going to take everything. Because they have no choice. Uh, we will banish those of class. I am only going to banish them. Yeah, there we go. So now I control most of Sicily. That's good. And my aggressive expansion is, is a little higher than I'd like, but, you know, push comes to shove. If they declare, see, I've, oh gosh, Rome is expanding at a pace that I do not want. Uh, being a pretty powerful trading nation, my income to start off with the game was negative, and because of all the trade routes that I now have, my income is now plus 13. And that's with a standing army of about 30,000. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, we've had an election. That's not great, his, uh, his military score, but uh, we do have an omen power and convert population cost in our religious faction. So, bish bash bosh, that's pretty good, I guess. It could have been worse. We could have gone into the uh, the populist faction. Ugh, who wants that? No one. Although I wouldn't mind that hair. And unsurprisingly, my favourite Carthaginian family was the Barker family. And it appears Himlico... Just like me. Check out that. Oh yeah. I love that chrome dome. I'm sacrificing to the gods. I want extra stability. And with that, our realm is more stable and my tax goes up. Oh. Uh oh. A trade route has disappeared and I can't get horses. Ah, can I get horses anywhere else? I need them. Ah, good. Okay, I can still get horses. Right, Rome's getting too big for its boots. I need to put them down a peg. They're broke, which is great. They have a lot of manpower, which isn't ideal. Oh dear, and they have yeah, they have mora extra morale and ordered retreat. I want the province of Alat. Actually, I've forgotten what province I just selected. Was it Lu Lucania? Damn it! Oh damn it! It's the south. But we're gonna go. Oh my gosh! How many allies do they have? Let's see. Veritania, yeah. So it's just little, little people, and I have lots of allies that want to join. Uh, but oh, 76 seats are behind me. Yes, because they see Rome is growing, and they want them crushed. Crush them! Crush them! 
destroy them. Take that city. I'll build this empire on their corpses. How's that? Do you know what? Uh, oh my gosh. A, a gift to Tyrus. For eons we have sent donations to the greatest temple of Melkarth in Tyrus as honour to our ancestors. How much money do they want? 200? That's redonkulous. We'll do it though. I'm probably going to hire some Roman mercenaries as well. Yes. Yes. Boom. Oh yes. We've got, we've got the foreigners but... That's fine. Oh my god, I, I'm already fighting them. Oh my gosh. We won a victory there. That's not a big one. Oh my god. People are costing me so much money. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. We, are, we share similar goals. Holy moly, how am I still winning against these people? I think it's the elephants. It must just be the elephants. Oh, we're engaging the Roman navy. Oh yes, my 62 vessels. They're no match for me. Roma pillaged. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. After the siege of Roma. Milk and Italian balninid. Troops run riot, resulting in murder, rape and theft. The wealth that the, the Milk Yaton has gained from this evil axe is beyond compare, and our advisors suggest that he is now one of the richest people in our land. Even deserters previously resident in Roma are flocking to join Milk the Aton. Despite his popular acclaim, we should consider punishing him for these dastardly actions. Well, he's, he's very loyal. And he's getting troops from Rome. Oh my god. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead, mate. The Siege of Roma is won. Oh, I've done what the Carthage never did before. I have no idea where the Roman army is. They've got 27 cohorts somewhere, but they're at war with a lot of people. And I don't see their army. It seems like they've just fled Italy. What is going on? Oh... For pity's sake, I said, <laughs> where's their army? It's going to come kill you. Oh god, what the frick? 47,000? I... Uh, we've lost our entire army. And they have... Oh no. It looks like they're going to attack one of my forces. Once they're engaged, I'm going to send in my massive stack. And hopefully... They'll join the battle in time. And we can inflict a major defeat on them. If they join the battle in time. Oh no. Please win. There we go. Oh yes. Here we go. Kill them. Annihilate them. We won. Outraged by the political landscape of Carthage. The, the guy with the hair. Oh for pity's sake. I think all of my elephants have been killed in these battles we've been having, which is unfortunate. But, oh wow, okay. Uh, they're, they're, they're taking heavy casualties now, which is nice, you'd like to see that. Now, although it looks like the war is going very well, except for this particular battle down here, uh, I'm in, I'm in uh, a white piece uh, situation because I, rather than setting my war goal for Latium, which I should have done, I instead set it for uh, Lu Lucania, which was a, just a, a mistake on my part. So, that's a problem. Uh, especially this is also a problem. And my allies aren't helping me. 1,000 men isn't going to cut it, Thaspus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please help me. Please help me. Uh! Oh no. I've lost Rome. Oh, for pity's sake. Where are they getting these these fresh troops from? They, they literally have no men. I... Ugh, oh, frickin' Romans. Oh, finally. At least I've... Yes, good. We've captured someone. Oh, so the southern war is going well, but they're taking back the north. I'll get it back, don't you worry. Hopefully. Oh, patron god. Definitely give it to Balhamon. Oh, no. I'm engaged in battle when I didn't want to. Oh, for pity's sake, please, please let me win. Oh, we won! Huh. Oh, gosh, my new ruler is awful. Merchantile faction. Ugh. Ugh. Grim. I think I'm going to sue for peace because I'm getting insane war exhaustion. <laughs> and that's, uh, it's not great at the moment. So, but I've got 99 war scores, so let's see what we can grab. Actually, I'm going to finish them off. Screw it. The war exhaustion can continue. I need to utterly destroy them. We must destroy all of them. Oh, 
for pity's sake, barbarians again? Ah. Uh-oh. Slaves are revolting. Eesh. Well, I think this will do nicely. So the rest of these little tribes we get a truce with, but the main conquest of Rome is done. Oh. 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 Yes. The great city of Roma has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. The city was home and centre of the budding Roman Republic, known for their ruthless and impressive war prowess. Rapidly expanding outwards from their home, they became a major player in the politics of the peninsula and started interacting with nature's all across the Mediterranean. With the city under our control, our men and advisors wonder how we should treat our old enemy. Well, here we go. Look at that. We can sack the city and leave nothing of value behind. We apparently um, get the. Hmm. So all the slaves are killed, along with the tribesmen, Hebrews, and Sabellians. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. And the Roman elite. Oh, our enemies deserve no quarter. Every character in Rome will be put to death before the cheering crowds of Carthage. Oh, oh man. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. I have done what history didn't do, obviously. However, as you can see, it looks like I might have a rebellion in Carthage, uh, and we've got lots of disloyal provinces, so I'm going to say farewell to this scenario before I look like a complete and utter moron. But I sacked Rome! I did it! Yes, we conquered Rome, destroyed them, and now they belong to the Carthaginian Empire. So if you've enjoyed this, leave a like. Subscribe and let me know what you want me to do next. So it's Toodaloo from me as ruler of Carthage. Very, very competent, I'm sure you'd agree. Ta-da! Many thanks to Wyatt, Onion Duck, Salty Dog, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Andrew, Jiggly Crotch, Brock Obama, Martin, Sean, and Logan for being ridiculous Ramble supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!